What's up, YouTube? It's Michael here, and I'm bringing you guys a special kind of video. I'm going to be bringing you guys a Magus Fire gear and deck setup. And yeah, let's just jump right into this. Okay, I'm going to show you guys my OG stats. Okay, this is for when you're just starting out PvP and you don't have anything good and you're rocking with just whatever you can get. So, when you're first starting out, your stats should look something like this, or maybe even a little bit better. At least 45 damage, 19 resist, and 10 accuracy. What can you do? You can't really do much. You don't really need the crit or the block. Healing in and out, it's alright. And the power of chance could be a little bit better, preferably like 45, but if you can't do anything about it, then don't. Um, yeah, so what you need to rock is the um, Zeus hat, Zeus robe, and the Zeus boots, but if you don't have it, then you can also wear all of these Senator's gear, and if you don't have that, you can rock the Crown Shop gear for level 15. And I was too lazy to farm for the Senator's boots, so I have everything except for the Senator's boots, so yeah. Your pet, uh, double damage, double resist, preferably, and maybe a heal on it if you wish, but it's not really necessary, but I think it's really good. Um, depending on what you're going for, but for beginning, double damage, double resist, and fairy is a really good pet for Magus. Uh, Skyron Hosta, of course. I mean, you're not going to rock anything but the Skyron God. <coughs> and then you're going to get the Heart Steel, the Nightshade Choker, or the Life Mastery Amulet, depending on your spells that you train. I say Life Mastery Amulet, but since I don't feel like buying a Life Mastery Amulet on this account, it's going to have the Nightshade Choker. And for Ring, I say the level 15... Uh, crown shop ring, but I don't even have that, and yeah, I have the level 5 one, so whatever. Um, deck, you gotta have the deck of the lotus. I mean, you're, you're Magus now, you gotta, you gotta step up from the mummified deck, you gotta get the deck of the lotus, dude. You can socket anything on it, I prefer accuracy, honestly, but you don't really need to. Um, yeah, so that's okay, beginner stats. That's good enough to get you to veteran at least. And once you get to veteran, you can at least buy the better the veterans boots at least for the crown top, and then you can have a little bit better stats. So with the veterans boots, you're gonna have 50 damage, 23 resist, 13 accuracy, mm, crit block doesn't matter, 39 power of chance, and yeah, I bought these because I didn't have the um, senator's boots from the Mount Olympus. But if you have the Mount Olympus boots, you don't have to worry about buying the um, veterans boots. But, um, yeah, that's what you want to start out with. But once you get really good, you're going to want your stats to look more like this, you know. Once you get all that commander stuff, once you get your duelist ring and a theme, you're going to want your stats to look a little bit more like this. Alright, so my stats are 61 damage, 22 flat, 49 resist, 16 flat, 19 accuracy, with no crit, no block, 1 armor piercing, 6 incoming healing, and 5 out, 53 power pip chance, and yeah, let's show you guys the gear. So, for my gear, I'm wearing the Commander hat, robe, and boots. Of course, wearing the Sky Iron God with the Duelist Veiled Razor with some jewels attached to it. Any jewels are good, but I prefer at least a Triangle Accuracy Jewel. Got the Duelist Virtuoso Talisman. I mean, once again, I don't have the Life Mastery Amulet, but I prefer this amulet because it gives a little bit more health and it gives a monstrous card. And I mean, more health, it's better than, you know, two weaknesses, in my opinion. But, people play how they want, and I just wear this. And so, wait, so for my ring, we have the Duelist Dead Over Ring. It's a god, like, come on. And for your pet, oh my god. For your pet, coming up on a Magus, you guys, you guys are going to want to have uh, double damage, double resist, and infallible you don't really need enfeeble so much but you kind of want an infallible pet but there's also a bunch of variations that you can have you got double damage double resist with the heal on uh you can have a bunch of different variations you got triple damage double resist infall you know it all it, it all just depends on your fighting style and if you think that you need more heals or whatever then you can switch out your pet you know it, it it's good to have a variety of pets honestly but if you don't have that luxury then it's whatever Quad damage of resist. It's a, it's a god, but yeah. And for the deck, you're gonna want to have the deck of the lotus. That's always you're gonna want that. But for the deck setup, here we go. Now this is for if you do not have burning rampage. If you do not have burning rampage, 
you're gonna want to keep your deck like this. All right. So your strategy is gonna want to blade up, and then headcount, and then elf. Headcount and elf. That's your. That's that's the that's key to this. All right. You can replace these mantles with stuns, by the way, but I don't have any stuns, so I use mantles instead. But yeah, you're gonna want to either max whip headcount and then fire elf afterwards so they can't triage it off. Or you're going to want to fire elf and when you get an open shot just to ifrit and just hope you kill. Because ifrit's a god spell, like come on, it's it's really good. And yeah, that's what you want to do if you don't have burning rampage. But if you do have burning rampage, dude, I say you rock this. Alright. Now I am known for having smaller decks. No pun intended, but I am known for having smaller decks. And these smaller decks work for me, because once you get, you know, high up in those ranks, you guys, high up in those ranks, like, 1300 plus, you're gonna be fighting a bunch of levels, a variety of levels, and mostly Grandmaster, of course, and if you let them get ready, like, if you let them build enough hits so, so they can k kill you, then you're going to lose, like, automatically, like, they're, uh, they already have an advantage, and you have to worry about their superior pips and their superior health so you're just gonna take an L if you have a regular normal long match deck setup but if you have a short deck setup you can know what you need to get and get it when you need it really quickly so for the strategy is I would double blade or I would blade an infall and then just go straight for the burning rampage no and if I was second I would cloak a life dispel and I would place it on them before I would burn a rampage so they wouldn't know what it is and it usually works out pretty well I mean it, it gets the job done here's a side deck you know gotta rock this gotta get the blades the the freaks and everything you gotta you have to kill quick it's one of those types of things like if you let them get too comfortable they will kill you easily it's especially these ices and lives that do really well in PvP you gotta kill them really quick before they start to heal back and they would get annoying and blah 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 I would say keep a reshuffle in main, but I don't have any training points, so yeah, can't even do it. But for a 2v2 deck setup, you're going to want to rock this, dude. Okay, so for a 2v2 deck, it's going to depend on your teammate, alright? So if your teammate is a fire, you're going to want to pack a lot of fire blades. If your teammate's an ice, you're going to want to pack a lot of elemental blades, and etc, etc. You're going to want to pack some life dispels and, you know, shields for a lot of different schools, because you don't know who you're going to face. And it's good to have a little bit more cards than you need when you're doing a 2v2, because you never know how long those types of battles might last. So, yeah. And your side deck should look similar to this mm, around that because you're going to want to get those smokes off to make your opponents fizzle depending on what your teammate does. And just a bunch of other stuff that is really good that Fire should have for a 2v2 deck. But yeah, that's about it for my gear and deck setup, you guys. I mean, I don't know. My stats came up a long way from being from Michael Dragon Rider to Michael Summer, dude. Ugh, look at this wins dude 104 wins and 45 losses 1425 rank that's pretty good in my opinion but let me put michael dragon riders gear on and then here we go his stats are close to mine maybe a little bit better it depends on what you're going for his stats are 64 damage 44 resistance 19 accuracy 23 crit didn't really matter one armor piercing and yeah that's just the basics that's what you want in general I still gotta work on a better pet for him, but for now, he's coming up there, dude. He has to get freaking Warlord soon, or else I'm gonna blow my brains out. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this little gear and deck setup for my fires, and, um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one, I guess.